Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blunga.com and in this video we're going to do a quick overview of Soho Sites. This is an easy to use website builder that comes packed with cool features. Alright, let's get started. This is the home page where you will see all the websites you have built with Zoho Sites. And here on the right you can add more global users so they can help you with building or editing your websites. When you click on a site, it will open the builder where you can also see your website. When you move the mouse around, these rectangles appear. There are different elements in this website. You can have entire sections or smaller elements like titles, text and images. This plus icon shows all the sections and elements you can add to the website. Once you find the one you need, just drag and drop it where you want it. You can also click on any of the elements to edit them. And as you can see, we have a lot of options here, like adding borders, changing the color, and more. All these options are available in most of the elements. Now we're going to delete the element we just added. First, we have to click on it, and then click on the delete icon. You can also add a page with a plus button. When you click on pages, you will see all the pages you have. To edit a page, you can click on the edit page info if you want to change the title and SEO settings, or click on edit content if you would like to open the builder. As you can see in this page, the main banner shows twice. This is because one is optimized for desktop computers and the other one for tablets and smartphones. You can display or hide elements depending on the device the website is being opened. Now let's open the visual editor. Here we can set global variables like color, text fonts, and a lot of other options that will affect the elements in the website. For example, you can set your branding colors, so when you add text to the website, it will be the color you chose. This is very helpful to set up right before you start building the website, so you don't have to make changes manually. We can find other options here, like changing the header or even changing how the blog looks like. And if you want to customize every single section of your website, you can use the advanced panel. All right, let's go back to the builder. And once you finish customizing your website, you can preview it with this button. This is how it would look like in a desktop computer, but we can also see how it would look like in a phone. And if everything looks good, you can polish the website with this button. All right, let me close this tab. And now let's go over some of the settings. In general settings, we can change some basic things like showing or hiding basic elements, the logo and favicon, Add a password in case you're building your website live and you don't want people to access it. And even add some header and footer code. Under content, we have files where you can upload any files you need for the website. You can also create folders and subfolders. We also have the photo set option that allows you to add a set of pictures in case you want to create an album. Under customize, we have menus where you can edit your primary menu and also add other menus. You also have the option to use the custom CSS editor in case you want to add your own CSS and customize your website that way. In the blog category, we have different settings like the preferences for the blog, all the blog posts, all the categories, and also you can manage your tags here. Under integrations, we have the three integrations available with Zoho Sites. The first one is to add a live chat to your website with Sales IQ. Then we have Zoho Page Sense that gives you a lot of information about how users use your website. And then Zoho Marketing Automation that allows you to track visitors and send them email marketing campaigns. To configure your domain, you're going to open this tab. But just keep in mind that Zoho Sites doesn't work with the root domain. If you want to know more about root domains, you can use these domain help links or ask me in the comments down below. Also in the configure, we have the SSL encryption where you can add your own encryption certificate or ask Zoho to give you one. You can use the cookie bar setting if you need to show the message to accept the cookies that is very popular these days. And finally, we have some SEO options. Here you can manage your website indexation with search engines, add analytics tools and tagging tools, and even add a sitemap. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Soho Sites is part of the Soho One ecosystem, so if you want to learn more, check out the link in the description down below. Thanks for watching.